Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to see how to make Hawaiian Paradise Cake. These three layers of a vivid cake is a flavor of a guava, passion fruit and lime. So this cake is so delicious and really famous in a, a bakery called King Hawaiian. And it, this tastes really amazing and uh, this is so good and uh, definitely you're going to try this delicious cake and uh, it's perfect for the birthday anniversary and many events you can make this delicious cake for your family and friends friend so first step basically we're going to bake the cake uh, it's going to be three layer cake so again the have a flavorful cake the soft and spongy cake and with a unique topical flavor is a passion fruit lime and guava so today i'm using the instant cake mix it's a super moist uh, white cake mix uh, i leave the recipe for the sponge cake in the below so just uh, you need to modify the liquid uh, as a the amount you need to substitute the liquid so we just follow the recipe so it's a three eggs one box of cake mix three eggs half cup of oil vegetable oil to, to substitute the water i'm using a juice so we're going to divide the three so one third of the guava juice one third of cup of uh, passion fruit juice and a one tablespoon lem lemon juice plus two tablespoon water so in the big mixing bowl i'm just starting with the eggs so once we mix well the egg uh, we just beat slightly you know need to over beaten because the cake mix itself contain lot of baking soda and uh, some other ingredients so I'm just adding the vegetable oil about half cup so it's three eggs half cup oil and now I just use the the cake mix that I sifted two times so once you sift it and you avoiding the lumps so we're going to mix with the little uh, part by part so it's going to be uh, avoiding the if you put all together and it's create a lot of lumps so i just add it a little by little so we're going to keep mix until we find that the right consistent and uh, we just mix and you find this is good and from this i'm just going to divide this batter uh, for the three portion so we're going to gently fold and then we're going to uh, divide this batter mix for three part so in the three part we're going to mix that uh, the juice and then a uh, little bit color so until you find that the right color so i just have this so the goa juice we, is good with the uh, pink color so it's a hot pink and then uh lime juice that one tablespoon lime and then two tablespoon water and perfect color is a green so now we can add that juice so basically we're going to replace the water and we're getting adding the juice so i leave the recipe in the description box if you couldn't find the cake mix and you always can use the recipe in the description box now I'm just adding the juice and mix truly and then I'm adding a few drops of food coloring. So you find the nice uh, the pink color, the goa pink, hot pink, that's the right color. So now I find it's really good this color and I'm just uh, pouring to the, uh, in the baking pan. Before that I just preheat the oven for 325 Fahrenheit and uh, I'm just pouring with the one paper line and then uh, pour it in the uh, baking pan it's a six inch baking pan 
so it's going to be three layer with the, some uh, the cream cheese and uh, fruit filling so it's going to be very tall cake so after 20 minutes the cake is ready it's cooked completely and we just insert a skewer and check the cakes done so the second uh, layer is going to be lime flavor so again the juice is a uh, one tablespoon juice and i'm using the concentrated lime juice with the two tablespoon water so again friends if you're using the lime lemon juice regular lemon juice you can use that uh, the complete amount is a one third cup of water or uh, this lime lime juice and i'm adding the green color until you find the right consistent and then color texture this is nice vibrant so it is good i'm just adding a little bit more to find that color so now it's ready i'm just pour it to the uh, baking pan and then i'm bake another 20 minutes so this is going to be the, our second layer so the third layer is going to be our passion fruit so now it's cool i'm just removing that uh, tin uh, it's so soft and spongy you can smell so good the lime lime flavor it's so amazing friend now i'm using the passion fruit uh, juice so we're going to mix with uh, some orange color it's nice having that different flavor the topical flavor in our king hawaiian uh, uh, fruit cake this uh, paradise cake is simply famous in uh, california is a king hawaiian bakery and uh, basically the original from hawaii this cake is really uh, famous in that california at the bakery so now the passion fruit is uh, cakes layer ready it's soft and moist and uh, smells so good here and I can't wait to complete and I'm going to uh, make that that filling so the second step is we are going to make that uh, cream cheese it's a whipped cream cheese uh, filling with the fresh fruit so it's so delicious so let's see what you need to make the, the cream cheese filling so it's a cream cheese powdered sugar vanilla essence and whipped cream and then a uh, pinch of salt so i started with the uh, one cup whipped cream so always start a uh, whipped cream cold whipped cream and i'm adding the essence vanilla essence so i'm just whip until you find that the pig form so this is the pig, pig form so when you lift it's not going to fall even you turn over it's not going to be fall that cream cheese is so thick and now I'm just start with the cream cheese so it's about four ounce cream cheese so one technique you can use the paper plastic wrap to cover that uh, the bowl the mixing bowl so it's avoiding that uh, cream cheese splatting all over places so I'm just adding uh, the once the cream cheese soft enough you can add that uh, powdered sugar and vanilla extract so I already add the salt with the cream cheese salt give that uh, bring up the all that um, goodness from the cream cheese it's really good and when we add the fresh food cut fresh food it's really give you that uh, the bite and the the richness the creamy richness uh, from that the cream cheese mixture now i'm just adding that the whipped cream that uh, we beat earlier whipped earlier and we're going to fold it friends we need to fold it do not beat again uh, it's really uh, loosen up that cream cheese once you mix with the uh, whipped cream always fold it use the folding method slowly keep folding and then once it's really combined together and now we can divide this uh, mixture and uh, I'm adding one is the uh, fresh strawberry filling it's about a 
half cup fresh cut strawberry with this uh, whipped cream cheese frosting so it's really good it says our filling to our cake so now I'm adding the uh, fresh cut mango so it's the mango is going to be in between passion fruit uh, and then the strawberry is going to be in between to the guava cake so it's going to be layer so step three let's uh, the fill the cake and then before that always uh, place the cake and see the adjustment and uh, check that uh, the size is really uh, on the same size and now this is time you can uh, cut or uh, make sure uh, you can turn over it and then try to uh, place the cake and uh, let's see how it look before you start the frosting so it just take few minutes but this is the arrangement so I start uh, with the lime cake I'm just placing in the bottom so I'm using again the same mold that I baked the cake Pan and I'm just uh, use one uh, plastic uh, wrap and then just uh, underneath that cake and then I place the cake and then I'm just put the filling. the the reason is the uh, because we're going to refrigerate this cake for few hours so it's going to be hold that filling and in the same exactly place so this is the technique uh, please follow this technique to avoiding that filling uh, came off from that uh, the position so because the cream cheese is still soft and uh, with the fresh food so we're going to is unable to hold the place once you put the pressure uh, the sponge cake is really take over it and i'm just uh, keep it uh, simple and then i'm just place it in the same mold and then put the plastic wrap and then i just cover it and i'm going to uh, keep to the refrigerator for two to four hours so now it's already done i keep it about four hours in the refrigerator now i'm just take that uh, one pedal and spreading uh, evenly and uh, we're going to uh, place that uh, frosting so this is the cake so let's see step four uh, how to make this decoration simple decoration friend so they have a few uh, uh, different method I'm using here so first is a uh, whipped cream so the cakes is so light and I'm really like that uh, lightness so i keep it simple with the fresh whipped cream so i again start with the uh, whipped cream and uh, whip first and then we're going to add that sugar uh, after this powder sugar so keep whip until you find that a pick uh, uh, form so we're going to keep beat now i'm adding the powder sugar so friend the measurement all in the metric and the grams i leave it in the discussion below please check the discussion box to find out the uh, the perfect measurement for all this recipe that i'm making today so now it's ready so today i'm using the uh, mirror glaze please check the uh, easy recipe that i leave it below is a microwave able uh, uh, mirror glaze so easy to make it you can make it under 50 minutes please check the description below i leave the the recipe in the description below so again i start with the whipped cream i'm just smear on the top and a frosting with the palette and then uh, try to move to the on the side of cake so we're going to keep uh, adjust and keep run the the, uh, the pedal and then keep uh, run the whipped cream all over the cakes and then uh, once it's uh, uh, you find the smooth and then now I'm ready to pour that uh, the mirror glaze so we're going to make that blue sky so I keep it about uh, 
two tablespoon of the blue mirror glaze and I'm just uh, start with the the original colors like a cream color so I've just uh, pour it in, on the top of the cake and just try to run with a small uh, plastic knife so just uh, just run it through all over and you find that the mirror effect so I'm sometimes you can drizzle on the top of the cake and keep uh, repeating and no time you find that the marble effect on your cake it's so easy it's really worth to try uh, friends it's easy recipe please check the description below it's a microwaveable recipe with a few ingredients it's, you won't believe that you made it at home with a beautiful design and uh, it's so easy and it's really look like a uh, professional from the bakery so just reserve and uh, you find that nice marble effect is sky blue and it's so pretty so friends uh, this uh, is optional you always can avoid this uh, mirror glaze is uh, I like to make this uh, design I want to show you uh, because it's simple and look ele Again. so I just try to uh, bring up in this recipe so you can keep uh, repeating once then you can set inside the refrigerator at least uh, six to eight hours so I set overnight so now it's ready now we can start uh, put some decoration so I have the uh, almond that uh, sliced almond silver almond so I just uh, start in the bottom I just place the almond so you have little crunchy and uh, we have that fruits nut and it's so yummy this cake so have some white chocolate so it's optional again and you can always keep that cake as like that and I just like to have a, a little uh, on the side and I'm going to dripping that hard white chocolate on the side of the cake on the edge so it will really, really look nice so I'm just using my one ziplock I'm just uh, pipe it to the edge so we can make like a easy pattern so just make it some uh, one line and then uh, we're going to drip it over on the side so it's simple but it's really look nice and uh, it's a uh, unique and it's homemade and it tastes amazing so I have some uh, rose strawberry and I just cut it a fresh strawberry so mango rose and then yeah uh, you can see this looking so amazing and you won't believe you made it at this at home and now uh, it doesn't take much time now the cakes ready you can see that so perfect so beautiful and it's really like beautiful like it's the taste really good i can't wait to cut and show to you how it's look inside and uh, you always can store this cake for one week it's fresh and homemade and that flavor is so good friend soft moist inside and then the the flavor cake is unbelievable it tastes so good the fresh uh, cream cheese with the fresh cut foods is just mouthful flavor friends so so you can make as a for the birthday for anniversary and uh, for any event and it's so easy and uh, it just remind me the time we had this wonderful cake at the King Hawaiian restaurant so you always can uh, twist the flavor you can give a different pistachio flavor for the green uh, orange flavor and then the raspberry or strawberry for the the pink cake so it's uh, what you have you can just throw in the cake and try make the new version of this cake and uh, I hope you enjoy another recipe from our channel and I wish you all the best 
and before that click that bell button subscribe now and share like and comment thank you